Okay guys, it's time for another Habs News update here. That's right, we got another one. As Montreal, man, have they ever been busy. Bergevin has been doing all kinds of things lately. He's been doing some signings, pissing everybody off, doing some more signings. So, anyway. In today's Habs News Update, we're going to talk about how the Habs have gone out and extended Yoel Armia, also known around here as One Man Armia, to a new contract. We're going to go over all the details, and we're also going to have a little chat about the recent Phil Denol rumors, which uh, does not involve him in Montreal. But first, before we begin, if you guys are a fan of the Habs, or you don't like veggies on your Subway sub, and you just mayo the shit out of that thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel, as I upload a ton of hockey content, and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Whoa. Now, first up, we got my man, Mario Armia. The man, the myth, the playoff legend has been signed up for another four years with the Habs. That's right. That is good news. I like this. Armia signed a four-year deal, which supposedly has him making an average of $3.4 million per season. Not too shabby, eh? But you know, a lot of people might say that's a lot to pay for a bottom six forward. Well, yeah, to an extent, you're right. But at the same time, Armia does a lot of things. A lot of Armia things. He has these magic powers that he uses from time to time when he shows, you know, glimpses of Mario Armia. You know what I'm talking about? And then he's also got some more tricks up his sleeve when he just gets the puck on his stick and he doesn't want to get rid of it. Yeah, he's a big shifty bastard in amongst the boards. I like the signing. The guy had a strong start to this season. He looked like he was on fire. And then that giraffe, whose name shall not be mentioned, in Vancouver clocked him with a blindside hit. And he kind of lost his mojo a bit. But he was a beast during the playoffs. And don't forget, last season this guy managed to pile up 16 goals. And, uh... That's huge. If you got a bottom six forward that can potentially score like 15 to 20 goals during the regular season, then that's quite an asset to have. He's 28 years old. He's part of the Finnish connection. That's right. He's from Finland. And we kind of got our own little Finnish mafia amongst the team right now with Lekkonen, Kotkaniemi, and Armia. These guys are good friends, and it looks like the band is going to be kept together for the near future. Arpan Basu would say in a tweet, one of the many quotes from Dominique Ducharme this season that stuck with me was when he said the common denominator for a forward line playing well is often that Yoel Armia happens to be on that line. He does so many things that makes life easier on his teammates. And I agree. Anyway, let me know what you think of the Yoel Armia signing down in the comment section. Do you think it was too much? Because I don't know. I think if they tried to knock this guy down a little bit, you know, with some wheeling and dealing, maybe try and get him down to below 3 million? I don't know. I think another team would have swooped in and latched onto this guy like an LG eater. Moving on, George Larock is at it again. That's right. The guy who is firing rumors out of his potato gun the past 24 hours is up to it again. And this time, it's not about adding to the team, but rather subtracting. You see, Larock seems to think there's a deal in the works for Phil Deneau, but with the Vegas Golden Knights. Ooh. That's right. Pizza Boy could be gone. And I don't know how I really feel about this. It's weird. I've got mixed emotions. But I think that Phil Deneau just wants a little too much money right now, huh? He's doing some wheeling and dealing of his own. Tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. And for some reason, I kind of agree with Big George LaRock here. Even if Phil Deneau doesn't go with the Vegas Golden Knights, I think he's going to sign somewhere else. And if you're wondering how much cap the Habs have right now to play with, according to Arpan Basu, he's got it all figured out. The man is some kind of math wizard. Pfft. He would say, quote, we gave a rough estimate in the piece of the Canadians having about 16 million available to spend in the next few days, including Weber's cap hit and allocating roughly 4 to 5 million for Kotkaniemi and Lekkonen. Well, right now it's down to 12.5 million. So there you go. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. 
And if you didn't, that sucks. And I'll see you next time.